What's up guys, Mr. Fair Warning here. Making a video, a follow up to Basic Knife. Gonna go over four strikes today, the opposite of the four blocks we went over last time. As well as I'm gonna throw a, uh, I'm gonna throw two additional strikes in there. I'm gonna talk about how you can put all these things together. Uh, come up with some techniques of your own if you will. Uh, and we'll go from there. Hopefully this video will make sense to you. You know, I can't really keep it that basic all the time, so I'm just gonna kinda of talk about stuff. You're not gonna get everything and that's fine too. Uh, what you do pick up, that's great, and what you don't, you know, you can just put on the back burner um, or do some research or ask questions on, maybe I'll elaborate later. Hope you enjoy this, guys. What's up, guys? Mr. Fair Warning here. We're going to get right into this. What we covered before, one, two, three, four. I'm going to give you four more strikes today in one transition. I'm going to kind of go right through this, so hopefully you stay with me. We're going to go over the four strikes. Four strikes, one, two, three. Four. Temple, temple, about right here. Lower, lower. Follow me? Right from here. One, two, three, four. Okay? What we went over last time. Block, 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 block. One, two, three, four. Four. That's the four basic strikes. Stay with me. We're going to tie this together and we're going to uh, make some techniques out of it. I'm going to give you one transition. Just transition is super important. I'm going to call it the, the up, down, or down, up, depending on what you do first. I got to give you some basic background. I'm not showing you the technique, but in FMA, Filipino martial arts, I'm just going to broad base FMA from now on uh, going forward because I'm getting too many specific questions as far as Kali, modern on this, this, that, what's the difference? Why did they do this here, this here? So we're going to call it FMA, Filipino martial arts. All right. So from here, uh, in FMA, there's a basic drill called Double Sinawali. It's a fundamental drill. It's like the alphabet when you're a kid. If you don't have it, you're not going to go very far. Right? One. Here. This is called Double Sinawali. This is nice and slow, right? I'm just showing you the drill. So this is a basic drill, and I'm not teaching it to you, but the opposite side of this drill, and the reason I'm doing this, I need to step back, um, is look at where my angles, look at where my strikes are coming from. Right? See how my strikes are coming from angles here? Look at my center line. See how my center line is basically all meat? There's no danger to you in that center line. It's all arm, and it's the base of my weapon, right? This isn't really hurting you. This is hurting you. So see my center line here? So it's kind of free. So the opposite of double center while you're right, the opposite of someone coming in and hitting you with this is, um, is a technique called up and down, or down and up. Stay with me. This is complicated. Ready? It's really not. It's down and up. Pretty simple stuff, right? Down, up, down, up. So if somebody's coming in and crossing with, you know, in FMA, they, you train with machetes or whatever the case may be, they're crashing your center line, they're striking you with double center wally. The opposite of that is down, up, down, up. You're striking in the middle and you're, you're basically hitting their arms, boom, they're going to lose their weapon. Does that make sense to you? So I'm not showing you the double center wally, but I am showing you that, the down, up, down, up as a transition, and this is why. Picture, picture this, right? The strike comes in, boom. You know those those blocks, which is a strike? One, right? You strike it. Great, great block. You can do one, and if the arm's still there, down, up, down, up. So you're cutting the arm. Going to be real careful here. Sharp, sharp, sharp knife. All right, strike it. So here, boom, right? We're blocking. Or this could this block could be a down, up, down, up. Follow me? This, this strike comes in here, down, down. Right, we're striking that arm. And then right from here, we have that two strike or one strike, and we're going in. See, I'm not overextending myself. And even if I do, look, different weapons, this is obviously could be a long-reaching weapon. I may choose to extend out on this, but I'm not going to overextend, but I can extend, right? It, that really, really depends. There's some variables here. So think about this. Block, down, up, down, up. That's a transition into maybe another block. If a strike comes over here, block, right? One, two. Right? You, you pick the, the target. So here, one, two, right? Which is literally first strike, second strike. So maybe I go into a, for our conversation, a number two block, and then strike, strike, number one block. Down, up, down, up, right? You follow? So I could sit here and give you a thousand and one techniques. I could invent them faster than my lips could move. So when this strike comes in, I could say, we're going to step back, block. We're going to cut the bicep twice, down, up, down, up, right? We're going to go across the throat. When this hand comes in, we're going to down, up. We're going to cut the bicep again, and we're going to end it with a, 
you know how that strike it. You know, we're going to end it with a uh, uh, number one. Okay, I could show you that, but not very realistic in my mind. I would have to show you a bazillion techniques for you to understand the principle because you don't know where my arm's going to be if I strike you, right? You don't know if I'm here. You don't know if I'm here. If I'm going to come in with an elbow, you know, or a knee, or or whatever the case is, you don't you don't know what's coming at you. So how can I say, well, the person's going to throw an elbow? You're going to step back. You're going to block, check the elbow, and then and then uh. Um, you know, throw a strike. But what you can do is you can practice these basic blocks and strikes. When you're here, you're going to come back, pop nice open, you know, block, or you're going to pop nice open, down, up, down, up, because that hand's out at you, boom, 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 boom. You're going to strike, right? Right, two, one, across whatever targets. You have those strikes now. If something's over here, strike. I don't care what it is. If, you know, this is the mindset you have to have. And think about this, some, 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 some as I said, some mindset. This is a baseball bat, right? And I'm here, and I'm going to hit you here. Think about this. Follow me. If I'm here, where's the, this is a bat. Where's the danger part of this weapon? It's right there, right? Boom. Is it that dangerous right here? Nope, right? Swing. So with this knife, if that same swing is coming at me, am I going to go back, right, into the danger zone? Not going to do it, right? Here, when this comes across, this is my target. Where the weapon meets your hand, that's where I'm going, right? Boom. Right? That's that, that's that strike, right? And that's where, you know, these drills come into play. If it's right here, I'm not going back. You're, you're going to hit me here, and your hands are coming out holding that weapon. I'm going to go. I'm going to go in. I'm committed through your actions. I'm cutting here, right? Down, up, down, up, down. I'm moving up your arm traveling, if you will, to that area um, where I want to end it. So when I'm here, boom, boom, boom. So this is a number one block, and this would be a number two strike, right? So here, here, down, down up, down, um, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever the situation you're in. If it's a, um, it depends on the weapon. I could give you a different, uh, you know, a hundred different scenarios. Important thing to take away are these strikes. Basic strikes with some deep, deep philosophy and mindset behind them. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Down, up, down, up. So, you know, if you were to watch, if you go anywhere and, and look up FMA Kali Mudder on this, name it, you're going to see them practicing Filipino martial arts or a lot through, a lot through drills. Uh, they're two-man drills, right? So basically, there'll be one person throwing the strikes here, and then on the other side, which happens to be the mirror, excuse me, of Sinawali, of double Sinawali, is double Sinawali. So you'll see two Filipino martial art guys doing this drill, and they're meeting in the middle. Pop, 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 the sticks are touching, the sticks are touching. They might switch it to, to single Sinawali, a redonda, an um, They won't hit chairs and tables, hopefully. Um, but you, you follow me? So that's how the drills are kind of pounded into you through muscle memory. They're doing these things hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. So basically, take these strikes that you have now, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Down, up, down, up. Uh, think about it. You know, really, really think about the different scenarios. How do you carry your gun, right? Think about maybe you can use your offhand. And, uh, you know, maybe when you, when, you, when you pull that gun, maybe you keep your blade, okay? As an example, maybe you keep your blade on, in offhand, and uh, you know you, you go from there. However, keep in mind, you know sometimes I carry depends really on the day, but if I carry in my pocket, I carry on my belt. Sometimes I carry in my waistband. I am pre-programmed when I carry in my waistband. I grab my shirt, rip my shirt up, pull out my weapon. That's how I do it. That's how I've done it a hundreds and hundreds of times, right? So if I have a knife in my hand and I'm pre-programmed to grab and rip up, you know, it sounds silly, but I mean, I could, in a, in a non-thinking way, right, through muscle memory, hurt myself. So there was a great question from Dr. Z-Man, thanks for watching, um, and he asked about that, and that's, that's why I didn't advocate, uh, advocate keeping the weapon. That's why I advocated throwing it away. I don't want somebody out there to practice with this thing and through your muscle memory go down and end up, end up stabbing yourself. That's, that would be a little silly, right? You'd be like the Glock guy who shot himself in the foot. Don't be that guy. All right, that's it. Uh, if you like this, let me know. Um, have a good day.